Hey Foundry Church, I'm Abigail Dannenberg and I'm here to read your day four uh, devotions for the Hannah week. So if you have your Bibles with you, you can open those up um, to 1 Samuel 1, 9 through 19. Um, and I'm just going to read it and you guys can follow along. All right, and it says, After they had eaten and drunk in Shiloh, Hannah rose. Now Eli, the priest, was sitting on the seat beside the doorpost of the temple of the Lord. She was deeply distressed and prayed to the Lord and wept bitterly. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if you will indeed look on the affliction of your servant and remember me and not forget your servant, but will give to your servant a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life and no razor shall touch his head. As she continued praying before the Lord, Eli observed her mouth. Hannah was speaking in her heart, only her lips moved and her voice was not heard. Therefore, Eli took her to be a drunken woman. And Eli said to her, How long will you go on being drunk? Put your wine away from you. But Hannah answered, No, my lord, I am a woman troubled in spirit. I have drunk neither wine nor strong drink, but I have been pouring out my soul before the Lord. Do not regard your servant as a worthless woman. For all along I have been speaking out of my great anxiety and vexation. Then Eli answered, Go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition that you have made to him. And she said, let your servant find favor in your eyes. Then the woman went her way and ate, and her face was no longer sad. They rose early in the morning and worshiped before the Lord. Then they went back to their house at Ramah, and Elkanah knew Hannah his wife, and the Lord remembered her. All right. And then the devotion, it says, The hardest part of waiting for me is feeling that I have been forgotten or left behind. Waiting is a painful season that creates within us a discipline found only through the pain of being stripped away and made dependent only on God. Hannah was in a place of shame, anguish, and desperation when God spoke through his priest to her. Did you notice that she waited in public and her grief was evident to all? In this passage, we experience community on a very raw level. Her pain was mistaken for being drunk. She has to defend herself while being so sad, but the hidden jewel in this story is that her answer came when she did not hide her anguish. She was open and laid bare emotionally, and God used Eli to speak a word that changed her forever. While you wait, will you allow God to speak through your church family? Please don't ever feel uh, that to be accepted at the Foundry Church, you have to put on a good fa facade while inside you're falling apart. If you are ashamed, heartbroken, and alone, I invite you to connect. Be loved and receive, and hopefully you, like Hannah, will hear from God within the conversations you have with people in your church community. We are a church that believes in the priesthood of all believers, so I invite you to pray about joining a group. It's risky to be known, but look at the blessing of waiting with someone who speaks encouragement into a difficult season of your life. Yeah, Foundry Church, if there are any of you out there that um, aren't in a small group right now, I really encourage you to maybe consider getting into a small group because it can be a really huge blessing to have um, fellow believers um, with you, helping you walk in your journey with God. Thanks.